Welcome, friends. I am Chimmy, the Inquirer of Plot, Suspector of Sequels, and more importantly, your host this evening. Tonight's movie's going to be a real bloodbath. It's Countess Dracula, which came out in 1971, starring Ingrid Pitt. fortunes and estates to, to be divided equally with our only child, Ilona. In 17th century Hungary, recently widowed Countess Elizabeth Natsity, eh? after a rather disappointing species. reading of her husband's will, she is going to take a bath, but the chambermaid can't seem to get the temperature right. This results in a life-changing dispute. I wish me to burn myself, wench. Quickly, hold water. Cooler now, madam. Cooler? Oh! Give me a peach. What are you trying to do? Turn my room into a pigsty? I had the bird. Oh, get out. Go. <laughs> Julie. Julie. After seeing that the girl's blood made her young, Elizabeth bathes in the blood of the young maid. Elizabeth devises a plan to kidnap her daughter, Ilona, so she can assume her identity. Your mother, I hope she's not too unwell. Or merely fatigued. She wishes us to remove her from our minds and to enjoy ourselves this evening. That is your mother's chair. Ah, oh, yes, of course. <laughs> the Countess starts an affair with Lieutenant Amir Toff. So but in the middle of it, Elizabeth comes to realize that her youth is temporary. Say it. Yes. Yes, yes, I love you. Yes. <laughs> The next day, she plans to go out with Amir, but how can she in her current state? Her maid, Julie, has an idea. Will the Countess have her fortune told? I see a new love in your life. He will lift away the black veil of your widowhood, and you will be young in your heart again. When Amir proposes to who he thinks is Alona, Elizabeth is overjoyed. Meanwhile, the real Alona desperately tries to escape her captor. <coughs> to no avail. She needs Dobby to find another victim. So Dobby finds a prostitute. Fabio, the castle historian, is suspicious and researches blood sacrifices. Seeing that the blood has no effect, Dobby remembers seeing a book about Dobby. blood sacrifices. Dobby, look at me! I did the same as before and it didn't work. I don't know, maybe it doesn't wait, work wait. anymore. Wait, wait! The book! What book? But once entering the library, he realizes that Fabio knows of the Countess's <laughs> scarlet secret. If you kill me, your mistress will never know the truth. Leave him! The chapter on blood sacrifices. Yes, yes, I've read it. But not far enough, Captain, or you wouldn't have made such a simple mistake. It states quite clearly, for the restoration of youth and beauty, only the blood of a virgin may be used. Fabio tells Amir that he will tell him something regarding the Countess after supper. I can't talk now. Fabio, 
Meet me tonight after supper. Amir goes to the library to find that Dobby killed Fabio. Dobby has loved the Countess for years and can't stand the fact that she is going to marry Amir. So Dobby shows Amir the truth. That's you? Julie, answer me. She shows him her true colors. I heard of skeletons in the closet, but this is ridiculous. Elizabeth threatens Amir that if he leaves her, he'll be blamed with the murders of her previous victims. With a pile of female corpses found, an order by the police is given that all the women servants, young and old, to leave the castle. With her supply low, Elizabeth tells Dobby to sneak a girl in, just in case. Julie, by the Countess's request, checks in on the girl. But to Julie's surprise, it is Ilona. This whole time, she thought she died on her way to the castle. Knowing what Elizabeth plans to do to Alona, Julie tells Amir about Alona. Julie! Oh, Master Emery, we must go. Who is it? Come, quick! Wait. Amir tells Julie to take Ilona during the wedding and ride to a safe place. During the ceremony, Julie frees Ilona from her cell to take her to the horse stables. But Ilona becomes curious when she hears the wedding. It's no concern of yours, my love. We must hurry. No, leave me. I want to know. I must know. In omnibus bonis meis temporalibus, in nomine patris, in nomine patris, et fili. Des filius, de spiritus sanctus, vos benedica. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Don't touch her! Well, I count that as a divorce, but seriously, he wasn't her type anyways. Today I decided to stop by a new store here in McCobston called Bathany's Beauty Supplies and picked up this cream. It's made with, let's see, Eye of Newt and Curer of Virginium. I don't like ingredients I can't pronounce. Made with all natural O-negative ingredients. But are there any side effects? <laughs>